the official demo of Ultimate POS. In today's demo, we will look into the setting of GST tax rates, which is applied for Indian customers in Ultimate POS. Since we have many customers from India, and like it has been a constant questions from them, so we have decided to record a dedicated video for it. So, like Ultimate POS, it can be used in many different countries. Like we have customers from all over the world using. Are using successfully ultimate POS, but let us discuss the GST how we can set up GST in ultimate POS. So, like to get started, like GST, it has four different percentage 5 percentage, 12, 18, and 28, and like it has three different parts like CGST, SGST, and IGST. CGST it's, it's central GST, SGST it's state GST, IGST is integrated GST. Then coming back, coming to the intrastate. So intrastate where the location of the supplier and the location of the buyer are in the same state. So if you are selling to a customer who is from the same state where your stock shop is located, and that in that in that case you have to use intrastate. And with intrastate, like you have to give 50 percentage to CGST and 50 percentage to SGST. Meaning if you are applying 12 percentage. As a GST, then six percentage will go to CGST and six percentage will go to SGST. And interstate is when the location of the supplier and the location of the buyer in the, are in the different state. So if you are selling to a customer which from different state, and in that case you have to use an interstate GST. So interstate GST it will like have only IGST. So if suppose coming back to if suppose we want to set up a 28 percentage of GST in our system. So let us go to the settings and I will go to the tax rate here. Inside tax rate, I have to create a IGST at the rate of 28 percentage. Then, like I have to create CGST at the rate of 14 percentage, and I have to create SGST at the rate of 14 percentage. Okay, and like I have so let us go to our tax rate here and I will create IGST at the rate of 28 percentage and I will insert here as 28 here. I will click on that once again. I will create CGST at the rate of 14 percentage and I will enter 14 here in the tax rate. I will enter SGST at the rate of 14 percentage. Create 14 here. Okay. Just sort it by tax rate, and you can see like we have CGST 14 percentage, SGST 14 percentage, IGS, and this one is IGST 28 percentage. So these three we created. So we have to like create. A combination of CGST and IGST which is 18 percentage so I will go to the tax group here so in the tax group I can combine two different taxes or like I can combine multiple different taxes here so I will click on a new and I will create a GST at the rate of 28 percentage which will have 14 percentage of CGST and 14 percentage of SGST. I will save this one. So here we have CGST at the rate of 28 percentage, which is like total tax rate is 28, which is a combination of CGST 14 percentage and SGST 14 percentage. So let us go to our cell, sale, sale, US sale here, and let me add a new product from here. I will at this particular product and I will click on the name of this product so inside the name of this product like I can set a tax here so like if suppose I am selling to a customer who is outside of the state that in that case like we have to use where the location we have to use IGST in that case but if you are selling to a customer like which is inside our state then in that case we have to use CGST plus SGST so let us consider we are selling to a customer who is like which who is in the same state so i will select 
GST at the rate of 28 percent is. And I will click on this close. I will add another product and I will select this one also. GST at the rate of 28 percent is and I will save this one. So like one thing is like I am selecting the GST tax rate here but like also you can set it as a default in your products. Like I can I can go to each individual product and there I can set what the tax rate will be applied for this particular product. Let me just click on the save here and we will see like how the invoice is looking for this particular so here you can see like in the invoice like it say actually it says slim invoice which will be printed in thermal printer so like the layout is looking a bit wider but if you will print it in a like thermal like a small 80 mm paper then it will look perfectly fine so here you can see like it's showing the cgst at the rate of 14 percentage is this much amount as gst at the rate of 14 percentage is this much amount so here it is like splitting this based on our selection it is splitting on into CGST and SGST over here. I will click on the cancel and let me just go to the invoice layout. I can go to the invoice layout from settings, invoice settings and I can click on this invoice layout. Here I will go to a particular layout and here in the layout like you can select like if suppose we want to display like we can select different designs from here let me just click on this detailed here click on this detailed and i will save it you can like try different designs from here and based on that you can use any invoice which is fitting for your business so i will click on the recent invoice here and i will print this particular invoice so here if i will print this invoice like it will get a new design based on our selected design so you can see like in this new design it is only showing me like the okay i've select this one is our invoice 62 so he... Okay, so this one is our invoice like invoice number 61 so here you can see like the tax is it's it's not splitting the tax here it is directly showing the tax here CG, GST at the rate of 28 percentage and here also it's showing GST at the rate of 28 percentage let me click on the cancel once again and I will select a different layout from here I will go to the default here and I will select a different layout by I will select a con columnized taxes here. So inside columnized taxes, like I will provide CGST, SGST, and IGST here. And I will just save this one. And here in the recent transactions, let me just print this transaction with invoice ID 61. So if I will print this transaction with invoice ID 61, like you can see it, it is like showing different columns, like it is showing different columns for CGST, SGST and IGST. And like also it is showing me 14, 14, 14 percentage for CGST, 14 percentage for SGST and the IGST is completely blank here. Similarly like it is showing 14 percentage for CGST, 14 percentage for SGST. So like it, it is splitting the invoice, like it is splitting the tax rate based on our selected tax rates. So let me just go to this invoice layout once again and so you can see like you can select different designs from here like we have a new design which is called a slim 2 let me just use this slim 2 here and show you a demo of how the slim 2 invoice is looking so like it's looking much more better as compared to our slim so i will print this one 61 so like yeah like it's now it is not like it's a if you will print it in a thermal printer then like it, is, it will look very beautiful and like it will look a very clear invoice as compared to our slim invoice like the slim 2 invoice like it will look very clear in the thermal print in a 80 mm print 80 mm page so like another thing like if suppose i am clicking on any other product like here i have to go to the tax rate and I have, here i have to select the tax rate from here but like this can be time consuming so what I can do is like I can go 
to my this particular product i will go to this particular product which is asian inside product i will go to the list of products from here and i will search for this product as0017 as0017 so like this one is the product i will edit this product from here and here i can select the default tax which will be applied for this particular product so i will select the applicable tax as 28 percent is so here it is showing me i will select this one gst at the rate of 28 percent is and i will click on the update so with this what will happen is like whenever we are in the sales space i will just refresh this sales space so whenever we are in the sales space and we are selecting this particular product then the tax rate will be automatically applied here so if i will come here you can see like the tax rate is it has been automatically selected so with this the cashier he won't have to select the tax rate always from here and third thing what we have to look is like when you are dealing with gst so make sure you are like making this discount at zero percentage like the invoice discount is zero percentage but you can add discounts in particular product so to make this invoice discount at zero percentage what you can do is like you can go to your business settings and here you search for discount default sales discount here i have entered at 10 percentage i will make this one at zero and i will update this one but since i am in the demo like it, it has been restricted to disable like this feature has been disabled but like if you will check it like if you are making this one at zero then the discount will be zero here so with that you have to like enter the discount here like here you have to enter the discount with this like you can enter different discounts for different products and also like the order tax you can like make the order tax as none from your business settings so like if i will go to the tax here and here i can default sales tax so here you can change the default sale tax here i have selected none so with this like the sales tax this one the order tax will be zero always so with gst like the discount it should always be applied uh, sorry the tax rate it should always be applied after the discount so here you can see like the first we have to enter the unit price then you have to enter the discount here then you have to select the tax rates from here so that's all in the gst invoicing of ultimate pos i hope you really find it useful and like you can see like we have many different like we you can easily set up gst in ultimate pos let us like go to our report once again and let us check like how we can get monthly reports like how we can get reports tax reports from here so i will go to the tax report here and here you can see like here in the it is showing me overall like in output tax minus input tax minus expense tax so here in the input tax like it is showing me all the taxes related to my purchase and in the output tax like it's showing me purchase tax, tax related to my sales so here also like it is showing me different columns for CGST, SGST, CGST plus SGST, IGST and all these columns here. So you can easy, like, easily export this one to CSV format and you can like you can select the date range from here like if suppose you need it for this month and you can select the date range as this month and like you can easily get the text like you can easily get the CSV file for the input tax output tax and the expense tax here so like currently it is showing processing here because of like some minor problems but like you can easily export this one to a csv let me just export this one to a csv and you can see like in the csv it will show you all the different things like the date reference number supplier tax number total amount discount cgst sgst cgst plus sgst igst like it will show all the taxes and all the invoice details here so that's all in the gst feature for ultimate pos i hope you really find it useful and if you have any further questions do contact to our support person 
and i will just leave a link to our ultimate pos in the description below so thank you